just uh, kind of where I wanted to end up. I wanted to be healthy when we got out of the spring game. That's first and foremost the first thing that you want is to be healthy. Uh, but I wanted to be highly competitive and where both sides of the ball left the field where you know they're feeling good about themselves. And I thought that was uh, the goal that was accomplished today. Now, we still had to utilize this scrimmage as a practice, as an evaluation. So we were moving a ton of different bodies in and out, which uh, something that I was pleased with is every single kid that was suited up tonight got plenty of reps. And that's pretty rare for a spring game. So we were still evaluating some things. Um, I did, uh, just from being an offensive guy, I did give the offense the wind at their back the entire game because uh, it was actually some pretty good gusts of wind, about 30 miles per hour. But um, overall, very pleased with how these kids have handled themselves for the past 15 practices. Um, you know, I challenged them before the game because I, I knew that I wouldn't talk to them after the, after the game. Uh, I just challenged them before about how important this summer is moving forward. I thought they'd made strides. Um, as a team and as uh, as units, offensive, offensively and defensively, and and just watching um, where we need to go is something that I challenge them with. We need to have a great summer, and uh, we need to finish up academically the right way, so we're not having any issues because we're taking so many strides, and we don't need any hiccups with anybody. And and uh, I think they're they're willing to get away from the game a little bit after they hit finals and they come back ready to work. And uh, we're only going to be as good as uh, our leadership takes us over the summer because uh, with the short amount of time we got left to prepare, um, I think uh, uh, these kids know and understand how efficient we got to be in, in moving forward. But overall, very happy with uh, where we're at as a football team. So um, I'll open it up for questions right now. Coach, there wasn't a score, but in your mind, did one side outplay the other, or do you think the offense played better or defense? No, I thought it was pretty even. You know, there was a lot of factors into it. We we pulled a lot of the defensive guys at times. There, there. The thing about having so much experience on defense, we pulled a lot of those guys out because we know what they're capable of doing. You know, I wanted to see some other guys get out there, run around, make plays, and uh, and put them in situations where maybe they can stick out on tape and and start to develop some depth in certain areas. But, you know, I, we went back and forth on the scoring system. And to accomplish what we want as a team, we wanted to make it pretty uh, pretty balanced in terms of having some competitive stuff out there where uh, we can get the evaluations needed as a coaching staff. So um, I know it's not what everybody wanted at times, but uh, I thought from my perspective, it was exactly what we needed. What about your quarterbacks? How can you evaluate their play? You know, Gresh seemed to get a lot of reps out there. Yeah, I, I thought they, um, I thought they did all right. You know, we still got a long ways to go, still building continuity. But we got out there and we ran around for a little bit, and uh, they actually put drives together. That's something that I talked to you actually about um, in the previous press conferences about just I want to see these guys sustain drives and you know convert first downs, and that's what they did. You got a productive night from your running backs, especially Anthony Taylor. What would you say about the running back performance today? Yeah, that was probably the most impressive thing that like the most rewarding thing for me is seeing them, seeing us run the ball more efficiently than what we've been doing. Um, and I think it was a lot with the, the quarterbacks are starting to understand the situations more because the more reps that they get, the better they're going to be. But just watching those uh, those running backs uh, kind of jump off the tape a little bit, uh, I thought that was uh, pretty good to see from my vantage point. But you know, it, you know, AT he, he was doing great. He hit a lot. I thought Alex Harris, Harris stood out at times. Jalen Nelson made some plays in there too, but um, you know we've got a lot of good backs, you know, and there's a healthy competition there. So uh, when they get their opportunity to shine, they're actually going full speed and, and trying to get everything out of it. You know, there's a big play from Mason Hayes. He had that 72-yard catch and then the right. eventual touchdown. Can you kind of walk us through that play? What happened with that uh, that call and, and uh, how they executed it? Yeah, it uh, you know it was a longer situation. It may have been a sack, but you know I. They, they were arguing for that, but um, and no, it's a good deal for us to just see a play happen now. So they ended up throwing it up. Uh, it was kind of one of those situations where we needed to get the first down to move the chains and end up being a big play. I, I did enjoy seeing Mason make that play in a kind of a crucial time, um, you know, because that's kind of a difficult jump ball, but he's very good at, at his catch radius and being able to, to control his body in air like that, which when he got to the jump ball, uh, he just, it was, it was good to see him catch it and take off with it. So uh, that's what we're trying to emphasize. We need to be an explosive team. And uh, 
Uh, we talk all the time about offensively and defensively that you've got to eliminate the, the explosive play and you've got to have a lot of it on offense to be successful because probably the, the biggest factor in terms of winning games is your yards per play. And uh, when you hit plays like that, it's going to naturally work out in the end for the offense. So I uh, was pleased to see Mason. It wasn't, on, it wasn't only that play. He also hit another third down slant. That was big. So he was, they were throwing to him at critical downs, which was good to see him convert them. You mentioned wanting to see someone emerge out of this game. Did you see anyone like that, you know, just straight off the field? The, the running backs, like you said, the running backs were the ones that emerged to me uh, because when we start getting the running game going, I think this is when the offense really goes because if you're going to win championships, if you're going to win games, you got to establish the run game. And uh, I, I like the, I like what I see, what I saw today. How about from the defense? What did you, you like when you saw defensively from your guys out there? Or? I did, and they were very generic, very good. They didn't want to show much, and uh, I thought they went out there and they competed with a passion. Um, you know, I think that is a very experienced group. I think that's the kind of the, the rock of our team right now because of experience and just how much they've gone through. So, um, you know, they, they tried to put some of those DBs in some situations because that's where who they wanted to see step up because um, that front seven is, is pretty solid. So their, their whole mentality defensively was let's try to get these uh, defensive backs in some scenarios where we can get it on tape and see if they can compete and, and uh, try to develop that there. But, I, I'm, I've been very pleased with where the defense is throughout these 15 practices. Coach, you talked about kind of the integrity and the energy in the team during these practices over this span. How did you see that out there related to the field, and how can you grow on that for the next season? Yeah, I think you have to have great enthusiasm to play this game, and um, I think this team has it. You know, you saw it at the end when one of the guys makes a play and then you blow it up, and it's just a, a good camaraderie that we got, and we got to keep building off of that. But. Um, I, I really enjoy this team. You know, it's a team that's been through a lot already. They've handled the transition great. They want to win. They put the effort in. They're doing everything right. We just got to keep gelling as a team moving forward because um, I think these kids want to do something special for this university. Coach, I know you mentioned about the offensive line. How it's been a bit of a struggle trying to figure out positions wise, but how happy were you with the offensive line today? That was good. And, you know, when, when we start moving the ball well, you can tell that the offensive line is playing at a high level. Um, you know, Coach McGuire is one of the best at trying to figure out where our best five are. And, um, you know, Aaron Brewer, he's one of the best offensive linemen I've ever been around. And uh, I've seen him play like six different positions, I feel like. You know, it's just like he actually was a receiver for one play, and he's pretty athletic to do that as well, which uh, uh, that didn't happen tonight. But uh, the thing about him is, is he plays center, he plays right tackle, and and what Coach McGuire does a really good job at is he's going to put our best five out there and, and make it a healthy competition until they get to a point where they're comfortable and they start building great continuity together. So um, I'm just pleased again with the O-line. We still got a ways to go, but they're getting better. You see the strides. If you look at practice one and practice 15, they look like a completely different unit because they're starting to play well together. They're starting to communicate on the same level, so there's a ton of positives with the, the offensive line. We know about to talk Brian London over there. He had seven tackles. He seemed to uh, get the quarterback space, not counting some passes and stuff. Um, yeah, you know, Bilo obviously is uh, one of our leaders, leaders of our team. That's why Brewer and Bilo are up here talking. And, uh, uh, the thing about Bilo is, is that we didn't play him very much. You know, I think uh, we played 26 snaps. That was the whole thing that we wanted to do is you know, I, I don't know how many snaps we played total, probably like 70, 80 plays, but uh, uh, we wanted to get him uh, his reps, make sure that he's fresh on it. He's, he's proven to this university and proven to a lot of people that he, he can play the game. So it's more about running around, make some plays, and, and get out and be healthy and let's move forward with our with, uh, with summer workouts and get him healthy in the fall. You hit on it about how important the summer will be. What does this team need to do in summer yeah, it's the continuity that I'm talking about. On what we have to do better as a, a team in the summertime is is build continuity. Right? That's where championships will come because you know you can only have a certain amount of practices that the NCAA allows you to happen. But when you get into the summer, there's got to be you know things that these kids got to do on their own. You know they got to go out there and they got to throw routes and, and develop timing. And, um, they got to just work through certain technique stuff, and it, that's where the little things are, are done. But on top of that, th this is where the weight workouts are the most brutal of, of the year. And these kids go for a lot, and we got a good strength 
program where um, we're going to challenge them. They're going to get bigger, faster, and stronger. But they have to be. We have to become a smarter football team. You know, I from a coaching point, I still see a lot of negative plays out there. I see a lot of things that hurt us. A lot of our problems offensively right now are self-inflicted. Right, we have to develop that over the summer where we can eliminate uh, those mistakes and uh, make sure that we're playing as efficient as football as we possibly can. You guys have off the field Bobcat Bonanza coming up. Can you just tell us about what you're, you're looking forward to in that event you know, coming up there? Yeah, it's, it's my first time to do it. I've heard a lot of great things about it. Um, I think they're moving the event to Strahan, I believe. But, uh, uh, that's it. it. It's going to be a great deal. I think that's uh, that shows you the pride of this university and it shows you the passion and and, uh, and the people that support this program. So I'm um, definitely looking forward to that for the first time. You know, today was my first time to see a Bobcat build. Uh, actually, a phenomenal event. Really been uh, with the weather being pushed back, but you know, it's the power of people um, and what this university can do. Where you know this university is trying to help others out and be a part of something bigger than themselves. Thank you, coach. All right, well, I appreciate you guys. Thank you all for coming out, too.